Hi, Damien Tucker here with DT Motorsports. Wanted to go over my next kit that will be available. This is a 2010 to 2013 YZ450F Yamaha. It is a fuel injected model. And I'm pleased to announce it's going to be available shortly. There have been some main changes uh, since the aluminum frame car model. The uh, radiator shrouds have been widened out. There's some mild trimming needed right here. There's uh, some brackets that I made. You have to lower the radiators and widen this out. So there will be brackets for that. We now have to have a 54 millimeter upper clamp, which will also be true for the newer YZ252 strokes past 2012. Um, front end is the same down here, all the same fitment. The, uh, the rear end took quite a bit of work. So let's have a closer look. As you can see here, foot pegs, same fitment. Chain slider, same fitment. The way you cut the swing arm is the same. Measurements are nearly identical. Um, this is the new tilted back engine with the electronic fuel injection, so it has a throttle body. Air intake is now up here, so you do not have to worry about an air box. You do, however, worry about the uh, exhaust pipe coming straight out the back. And then it does a little whirly gig and comes out that way, so had to deal with that somewhat. I had to extend the pipe, I had to re-angle the head pipe down, extend the pipe up, have it all up into the subframe there, and then uh, chop at the muffler and re-angle it here. So that's going to be a little bit of a job. I know it's a little bit ugly, I got it ready for St. Anthony in quite a hurry. Um, the rear end, same amount of spacing, you have to cut a hole in the seat. A pretty good size hole under here to get it to sit over this then you have to cut another hole in the seat for the exhaust so it doesn't burn a big hole in it which I did over the weekend so after I put some aluminum guarding in here I'll uh, show you guys how that's done but all in all it wasn't too bad one of the biggest changes is this uses an 04 to 05 rear shock off the YFZ which is only 18 inches instead of 19 inches eye to eye I had to use a lowering link so I'm gonna offer a link in this kit it's gonna be pretty close to this measurement um, what a lot of people don't take into consideration when they're doing tri conversions is the geometry of the suspension and how it works so I set my suspension up on the rear end identical to the quad that the rear end comes off of if you look at the orientation of the linkage the angle of the shock, everything, the angle of the swing arm, it matches the YFZ. Exactly. And it does on my car model. That is why my trikes have a premium ride. The seat height is lower than a YFZ 450, but you still get that sleek design and the mobility. I rode a, a Honda tri conversion, I'm not going to name brands, but it did not handle as well as my bike. Neither of the bikes that I had out there. I also rode an old 250R three wheeler, which I felt pretty crammed on and it was lacking power. After you ride one of these for a few years, you won't want to ride anything else. So there's lots of benefits to having EFI. I bought a Baja Designs wire harness, which allowed me just to plug in this LED light. You can't start the bike with the light on, but once the bike's running, you flip it on, the bike can adequately run a 35 watt light with no problems, no stator, nothing. You don't have to add anything. I am going to, however, add a tail light so that I can ride it around more. This thing did phenomenal at St. Anthony's. It was the shakedown run of the prototype. I worked on this thing every morning before work, every lunch break, and every night until midnight after work just to get it ready. Slapped it together, went down there and hammered on it for a couple of days and had zero issues. This might answer a lot of questions for people. Side by side, there's a 350X, the original big four-stroke three-wheeler with the leading front axle. Same design that I use. Seat height's a little bit taller on my Yamaha. Overall wheelbase, a little bit longer. 350X, I think it's 23 or 23 and a half 
degrees the angle of rake I got 25 degrees I actually like how this rides better than the 350x by far how it turns everything I let a group of guys on three 350x's all try the Yamaha out and they all wouldn't stop talking about how much better it handled than the 350x they were actually talking about how they wish their 350x had a little more rake and these are avid ATC riders that are talking about this I let 250R guys ride it they couldn't stop talking about how well it handled and the power power is the main thing yes your handlebar heights higher yes your seat height is a little bit higher yes your wheelbase is a little bit longer but your dry weight 291 pounds same as the 250R you gain mobility of the seat, you gain power, you gain suspension travel. All in all, it's just a modern take on a three-wheeler. You're going to have a different riding style, you're going to have a different technique, you're going to have a lot more fun. You won't believe the things you can do on one of these. If you're interested in building one of these Yamaha trikes or having me build you one, just go to www.dtmotorsports.net and get started today. All of my parts are in stock and ready to ship for the card model. EFI and YZ250 are soon to follow. They will also be in stock and ready to ship when they're completed. So you don't have to wait. You can get started right now.